Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I had to come on here and let you know that it's the first time I ever received a message from the Lord about a time frame for the rapture. And I wasn't sure if I should put this message out or not. But today I asked him, I said, do you want this message to go out? And then I received the Holy Spirit chills all over me, so I decided to put it out, and just as usual, and as in every other prophetic message that I receive from the Lord, please take it to Him for yourself, get into the Word, get to know His voice, and how He communicates with you, that's what He wants, a personal relationship with you, so that he can tell you for yourself and confirm this message that I received from him. Please don't ask me questions because I know a lot of you are saying that no one knows the day or the hour. I'm just telling you what I receive, so please take it to him. So as you can see on the screen here, on Sunday... August the 27th, which was yesterday at 10.21 a.m., here's the date, Sunday the 27th, I was thinking about the rapture, I was actually in the bathroom of all places thinking about the rapture. Sometimes I'll get messages in the bathroom. I know that sounds odd, but I think it's because I'm really not, my mind really isn't doing any other type of thinking. You're just, you know, using the restroom. But I was actually thinking about it, like, when is this going to happen, Lord? I was just thinking to myself, when is the rapture going to happen? And I heard in my spirit late September. And I heard it at 10.21 a.m. So I decided to look up 10.21 in Strong's Concordance. Hold on a second. I thought I had it pulled up there. And it's Beth Hakerim, which is, the definition is a vineyard place, a place in Judah. And the scripture that I was drawn to was Jeremiah 6.1. So I actually pulled up. Jeremiah 6, which is where I was a few minutes ago. And it's the chapter about impending disaster for Jerusalem. It says... Flee for safety, O people of Benjamin. From the midst of Jerusalem, blow the trumpet in Tekoa and raise a signal on Beth Hatcherim, for disaster looms out of the north. And great destruction. The lovely and delicately bred I will destroy, the daughter of Zion. Shepherds with their flocks shall come against her. They shall pitch their tents around her. They shall pasture each in his place. Prepare war against her. Arise and let us attack at noon. Woe to us for the day 
declines, for the shadows of evening lengthen. Arise and let, let us attack by night and destroy her palaces. For thus says the Lord of hosts, cut down her trees, cast up a siege mound against Jerusalem. This is the city that must be punished. There is none but oppression within her. As a well keeps its water fresh, so she keeps fresh her evil. Violence and destruction are heard within her. Sickness and wounds are ever before me. Be warned, O Jerusalem, lest I turn from you in disgust, lest I make you a desolation and uninhabited land. Thus says the Lord of hosts, They shall glean thir thir thoroughly as a vine the remnant of Israel, like a grape gatherer, pass your hand again over its branches. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears are uncircumcised. They cannot listen. <clears throat> Behold, the word of the Lord is to them an object of scorn. They take no pleasure in it. Therefore, I am full of the wrath of the Lord. I am weary of holding it in. Pour it out upon the children in the street and upon the gatherings of young men also. Both husband and wife shall be taken, the elderly and the very aged. Their houses shall be turned over to others, their fields and wives together, for I will stretch out my hand against the inhabitants of the land, declares the Lord for from the least to the greatest of them, everyone is greedy for unjust gain. And from prophet to priest, everyone deals falsely. They have healed the wound of my people lightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they committed abomination? No, they were not at all ashamed. They did not know how to blush. Therefore, they shall fall among those who fall. At the time that I punish them, they shall be overthrown, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, stand by the roads and look and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is and walk in it and find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk in it. I set watchmen over you saying, pay attention to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not pay attention. Therefore, hear, O nations, and know, O congregation, what will happen to them. Hear, O earth, behold, I am bringing disaster upon this people, the fruit of their devices, because they have not paid attention to my words. And as for my law, they have rejected it. What use to me is frankincense that comes from Sheba or sweet cane from a distant land? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices pleasing to me. Therefore, thus says the Lord, behold, I will lay before this people stumbling blocks against which they shall stumble. Fathers and sons together, neighbor and friend shall perish. Thus says the Lord, behold, a people is coming from the north country. A great nation is stirring from the farthest parts of the earth. They lay hold on bow and javelin. They are cruel and have no mercy. The sound of them is like the roaring sea. They ride on horses set in array as a man for battle. Against you, O daughter of Zion, we have heard the report of it. Our hands fall helpless. Anguish has taken hold of us. Pain as of a woman in labor. Go not out into the field, nor walk on the road, for the enemy has a sword. Terror is on every side. O daughter of my people, put on sackcloth and roll in ashes. Make mourning as for an only son, most bitter lamentation. For suddenly the destroyer will come upon us. 
I have made you a tester of metals among my people that you may know and test their ways. They are all stubbornly rebellious, going about with slanders. They are bronze and iron. All of them act corruptly. The bellows blow fiercely. The lead is consumed by the fire. In vain, the refining goes on, for the wicked are not removed. Rejected silver, they are called, for the Lord has rejected them. So, and I did look that up, Jeremiah 6, and it was talking about when the the fall of, uh, I believe it was Jerusalem and the Babylonians took over. Maybe it was Judah. I don't know. I'm not a Bible scholar. I'm just telling you what I looked up and what I can recall. And then I also looked up another site and it said that a lot of times prophecies will not only be fulfilled in the history, but they're like a, a foreboding of things to come in the future as well. So they will be, I guess you can call them doubly fulfilled, like Ecclesiastes 1.9. So I brought that up, <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 1.9, what has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done, and there is nothing new under the sun. So please, like I said, take this to the Lord for yourself. Don't take my word for it, but please get your hearts right with the Lord Jesus. He's the only way to the Father. If you don't know who he is, get to know him now. Get a Bible. Read about him. Believe that he paid the price on the cross for your sins to be forgiven. And you will go up with him when he comes. And may God bless you.